Hi there, I just wanted to take a break from um, printer upgrade videos and build build log stuff and show you something I've been uh, working on recently. It's a um, it's a 3D printed so far um, harmonic gear, uh, some people call it a harmonic drive or a strain wave guide because I think harmonic drive is uh, perhaps a trademark. So some people I've seen do this on uh, YouTube videos already have used a flexible filament to achieve the, the spline section and I wondered whether you could achieve that with a timing belt, a uh, closed version. So what I did is um, took some uh, HTD 3, so 3mm pitch, 270mm uh, diameter, so on a 3mm pitch that's 90 teeth and then I inserted it into this printed uh, Holder, and that's quite a firm fit there. And it's a 15 millimeter um, width belt. Put a skateboard bearing inside, an 8 millimeter bolt through there, washer, and then this arm, which has got some about 12 millimeter diameter uh, bearings on, and that's they've got 4 millimeter internal diameter. So there's a 4 millimeter M4 screws that go on there. And this arm I've made threaded and that sits inside and you can see it slightly deforms the belt at either extreme. Now the next version I need to make drop it down so the top of the bearing and the top of the belt are flush but it works for now. And then we need another washer to go over the top and then this one, instead of having 90 uh, teeth in here, it's got 92, which means that um, you get a slip on either side of the, um, the, the, the arm. And you put that over the top, bolt it down, and then you turn it. And you can see inner gear going around fast, the back black plastic is fixed and you can see the very slowly rotating front red wheel going. Pretty pleased with that, could do with an upgrade to uh, some of the design aspects but in terms of proving the principle I'm pretty happy. Uh, one of the pros that's said to be uh, part of the beauty of the um, strain wave design is that you get zero backlash. Well, this is pretty good. Obviously, you're going to have some in a belt. There's a little bit. But um, some kind of um, high torque application. This could be quite good, especially with an encoder for a bit of closed loop feedback. Um, I hope it's of interest to people.